Hello everyone, I am creating this video to demonstrate how to upload MCQs on Moodle course. Uh, this is an example. So what I did is over here is uh, I had taken nine questions. I will explain the template in which you are supposed to format all the questions. First of all, we don't need this all things uh, while uploading the MCQ. So I am deleting it. We don't need header footer. So I am removing that also. Like this, I created simple, simple questions in as a first step. In second step, uh, in options, uh, there is a specific format. Uh, we cannot have like a bracket or any square bracket. So what we need to have correct format is a dot, and afterwards there is a space. Uh, so it might be the hectic to change all the formats. So what I am going to do is like this, uh, for example, this is a B, okay, I'll copy it, I'll go to the replace, I'll put it over here, I will write capital B dot and space and it will replace all, okay. So like this, B is replaced in most of the cases, uh, you can check this. Similarly, I will do it for C. Then I will do same thing for D also. In most of the cases, you can see that A, B, C, D has been replaced. In few cases like this, you can see that it is not replaced. It is because numbering formatting is used over here. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to change this numbering formatting. Right? I am going to choose this one. Here also, instead of this, I am going to change this to a dot b dot c dot c so just thing we need to make sure is that there is a space after this okay second thing we are supposed to make sure is that this abc should be this option should be on the next line so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to put this to the next line every option should be on the new line so this is the basic format uh, second thing is that your question should not be of more than single line but here in this type of question you can see that there is a program so this is not acceptable so what we are going to do is that I'm simply going to cut this okay what to do with that program I will explain that later below each and every question we are supposed to give the answer also so what, what we are supposed to write over here is that we are supposed to write answer and colon. Now this should be capital. So what I will do is that I will go here and in I will write this in the uppercase. Similarly, I will copy this for all. A uh, thing you are supposed to understand is that after the last option there should be a line gap and after answer and in between answer and new question there should be a line gap. So I maintain that. Now what we are supposed to do is that I, we are supposed to put the answer in front of this. So for the A, the answer is D. So it will be capital D over here. For question number two, it is again D. So I will write D over here. It should there should not be any gap over here. So I am removing these gaps. Notice that I had not removed the question one from here. There is no necessity of writing question number one over here. But for example, the, in question number 32, there is a code which we are supposed to insert in the question. But uh, by our rule, there should be only one line question. So what we need to do is that we need to again edit this question number 32. We should understand which question it is. So therefore, I am not removing, removing this uh, question number 32. Now this is the basic formatting, uh, we did this in the MS Word, we need to convert that to text file. So what I will do is that I will uh, simply I will convert this to the TXT plain text and I will click on save. While doing that we are supposed to uh, select uh, encoding type, so that encoding type is unicode utf8 i will select that and i will press ok so that file will look like this 
what i'll do is that now i will go to the modal course uh this is a modal course file you are supposed to log in you are supposed to go to the particular course so we are doing it for object oriented programming so i click over here then you are supposed to go to the setting more here if you scroll down there is a questions so you will click on the questions now we are doing it for unit number 1 okay so here you can see that uh, there is a unit number 2 and the 3 so we need to create a category of unit number 1 so i will go to the categories i will add a category so here i will add unit 1 and it will be under the default books i will add the category unit number 4 is added now what we are supposed to do is that we are supposed to import the questions from the file which we had created so i'll click on the import the file which we have created it is in icon format so i will select this icon format there are the these settings which we are not going to change anything Uh, simply what we are going to do is that we are going to select this we are going to drop over here so this final mcq unit 1 it is imported a uh, thing which we need to understand is that it is getting imported to default oops okay so first we will upload this to default oops and then we will move to the unit number 1 okay so i will import it here you can see that it is imported correctly if there is a problem with any question there will be error that also i will show at the end i will uh, deliberately make an error in some question and i will show you how to understand that error so there is no error in this all seven questions are correctly formatted so i will continue it once it has been done you can see that the questions has been uploaded so we can have the preview of that this question will look like this if you want to ch change the mark so it, you can do over here uh, this is not the correct category of the question so we are supposed to actually move to the move this question to the unit number 1 so what i'll do is that i will select all i will click here and this is unit number 1 so i will move it okay so you can see that in the unit number 1 seven questions are there remember we have the code in question number 32 so this is the question number 32 and we need to we need to add code to that question number 32 so what i'll do is that i will go to the edit i will click over here and here i will click here i will enter we are supposed to add code over here so we will go to the file which contains the code so it is question number 32 okay so this is the code so I, what i will do is that i will copy it and i will paste it over here so so here you can see that the entire code has been pasted this this is unwanted image from the file so i will delete it okay so this is the code if i want make any other changes i will just save it and if you want to check how the question looks like so you will click on the view see so here it is and the code has been added like this you are supposed to make the editing of the question right uh, so it i had uh, shifted it to the unit number 1 suppose i had, i will make deliberate mistake over here instead of capital a i will write small a and i will save this file I will import uh, as i can format uh, to the default oops category i will drag and drop this file and i will so there is a problem with the question number 2 here you can check this question number 2 and see that 
there is a error so you can make the changes in question number like this you can uh, make the changes and save it thank you